Hey everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video today. This time around another crazy plug and play that I've discovered at a local, um, I admit it's a local Goodwill. Uh, it's a versus Max, Max Play, plug and play. And um, that's it right there. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the last one I just uh, played through with all the games, uh, except for a little bit different. First of all, as you can see, it's still it's patterned after Nintendo 64 uh, controller. The buttons are more uh, accurate to the Nintendo 64, if you see that right there, uh, instead of out of place like the um, other one. Go figure. Uh, you got your select and start buttons right there. Um, the red and blue buttons are your act as B and A, respectively, for, from the NES um, games. And the buttons on the top are just the turbo versions of the corresponding buttons. So, you know, you got that. The middle button right there is your reset button. It resets back to the menu so you can play the games, uh, select other games. Um, you got your cool little yellow D-pad right there. You like the multicolored D-pads. Uh, interesting enough, this little analog stick actually works, so... Well, at least it says in the instructions whenever you fire this up. So this actually moves around and everything. So we will try that out and make sure it works. And what's very interesting about this thing, um, it's got a, <laughs> it is a light gun. It's got a light gun built into it. You sit there. Uh, let me press the button right here and boom, it lights up like that. So that is your light gun. This is your handle right here and where the, uh, I guess the Z Z button, Z trigger on the Nintendo 64 is. That's just a regular trigger button where you just hold it and shoot. Very interesting and odd and wonderful at the same time, I guess. Uh, it's got a cartridge slot at the back of it right there. I'm guessing I try to fit my Famicom game in it. I didn't want to put it in there without... I'm afraid I'd mess up my Famicom game. But I imagine there's custom carts out there that would fit into this so it seems like it's another Famic NES Famicom clone machine NES on a chip or whatever you want to call it um, it's got a little plug at the bottom to play it for two players yay so you got two light guns if you want to play I, I don't know two player light gun games um, maybe maybe gotcha I don't know I don't know if they're my, my mind's a little bit hazy it might be some uh two-player light gun games that I just uh, don't remember right now. But uh, anyway, um, again, it takes a little battery pack. You can pull that out and take it apart, and it takes four, I believe, AAA batteries. I don't want to take this out because it will obviously go off. Um, yeah, I believe it's uh, AAA batteries or AA. I'll let you know in part two. Um, there is an on-off switch, but there is no um, AC adapter jack. So you can't plug this into the wall like you could the last one I had. And I think that's about it. It's got stereo AV cables instead of the mono cable. So it's got the red, yellow, and white cables. So let's go ahead and jump into the games. Enough, enough of my uh, yapping. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. 95 and 1, it looks like. And there you go, that's the um, the little menu there, so it tells you what I just told you pretty much, the uh, button configuration and everything. So, let's go ahead and hit start and start playing some games. Alright, first game up, looks like Fun Click. Let's see what this game is about. Um, fun Click, wow, alright. Amazing. Um, Kind of looks like a little puzzle game where you just kind of match up three or more shapes that are touching, or two. Okay, there's two. All right. Guy is getting a little excited up there in the corner. He's happy that uh, we're fun clicking. All right. Get that. I guess you keep doing this till you run out of moves. Um, fun click. Alright. 
guess the object is to get as many points, as many of them touching together as you can. All right, let's see here. Do I have any more moves? Yep, I've got one right here. I imagine the game kind of stops whenever you have no more moves. Yep. So, okay, new record. 97, great. Wonderful. All right, that was Fun Click. All right. You know, a little puzzle game just to start you off, right? All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, let's go ahead and go to number two. Let me see if I can get that signal. Probably going to have problems with the signal with this thing. It like, seems like I always do. Uh, Box World is the second game coming up. Let's try that game. All right, new game stage. Okay, this is pretty much also a little puzzle game. Just kind of stuff that I've played before. And yes, the analog stick does work. I'm using that right now. Yeah, so, yeah. The D-pad, eh, it's okay. It could be better. Not as responsive as I would like it. Kind of feels like cheap plastic, too. Although I do like the color of the controller. It's kind of like a bluish-purple, glossy look. I like it, though. But, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, that little box puzzle game that I've played. Box World's the name of it. Uh, let's go ahead and try UFO Race, which I think is that hacked NES game. Yep. Oh, yeah. We played this before. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and uh, low. And we get high there. The uh, gear shift. All right. And for some reason, it's kind of dark on my uh, television. It's a little bit lighter on the uh, video capture here because I turned up the uh, the brightness of it. So. I don't know what that's about. This one's, this one's a little bit better with the analog, I would think. Not game over, but anyway. All right. That was UFO Race. Obstacle Race is another game we will try out. All right. Let's see what this game is about. Mm, looks like a possibly an NES hack as well. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. No L and R buttons on this joystick, by the way, this controller. Just like the the other one I played. Yeah, this is pretty much what I've played before. Ah! There we go. Oh. Ouch. Alright. Alright, that was Obstacle Race. Let's go with Boat Race. That looks like that's going to be familiar as well. I'm surprised this isn't as blatant as uh, the last plug and play I did. Uh, NES games on there. <laughs> Just blatant. Of course this looks like it's a hack of the, one of those NES games. It's like they're more focused on hacks than just blatantly putting a game on there without changing any graphics like that Contra and Mario that I played. This one looks like they at least attempted to uh, change the graphics of it.
Ah, oh well. Alright, cool. Cowboys, another game. I believe that sounds like it might use the... Um, let's try it. Let's see if it... Yeah, it looks like... Looks like it uses the light gun here, so I'm going to check that out. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, this looks like... Uh... Alright. Uh, what's that uh, game? Uh, game, the gunman game, where you have to draw before they do. This looks like a hack of it. Wow. At least you can use this. All right, cool. Obviously a hack, so. Interesting. That was Cowboy. Let's see if we can get Forest Guard up and running. All right, Forest Guard. Let's see what that game's about. Oh, wow. Uh, this looks like another... Light gun. Yeah, this is Hogan's Alley, looks like. Alright, what what can I shoot and what can't? Oh, okay. I guess somebody with a frowny face you gotta shoot. Alright. Hey, it works! <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. Picks it up pretty good, the light gun. It's not too bad. I guess it's got these red lights on the side, too, that kind of... I don't know if that helps or not. But, but seems pretty accurate, because I'm, you know, playing this on my CRT. Uh, let's see here. Yep, okay. Okay, I'm going to shoot not pointing at the screen and see what happens here. Okay. All right, cool. That was... Uh, not bad. This is actually pretty accurate. There we go. Alright, cool. That's pretty fun. I like that. That was implemented pretty good. Alright, that was Forest Guard. Let's try Space 2050. Music. Music sounds a little... Okay. Hmm. All right. Ah. All right, let's try this again. This is a light gun game. Ah. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be as accurate. Ah. Pointing right at it, too. Alright. Not duck hunt. Wink. All right, UFO Shoot is another game. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. All right, hmm. Yeah, another game that doesn't look familiar.
Yeah, it seemed like I have to really get close to get this, to get it to detect. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back here. really have to be really close to it, looks like. Yeah. Wow. Gotta be like three or four inches from the TV screen for it to detect it. Oh well. That was interesting. That was UFO shoot. Let's try snowfield shoot again. Hmm. It's very light gun heavy, these few games here. Ah! Right on it. Wow. Had to be right on the screen. Makes me want to break out my uh, NES and Zapper and Duck Hunt. be like right up on the screen. Alright. Alright. That was Snowfield Shoot. Aether Tiger. Alright. Get that signal back in. All right. All right. This is. All right. This looks like 1942. Yes. This has got this has got turbo built in turbo. So I'm just. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Not 1942. Wink. All right. Yeah, pretty much. Just a straight-up hack. Aether Tiger. Let's try Archery. See what this game's about. Alright. This kind of looks like Puyon. Uh-huh. Looking very familiar. Ah, yes. Not, not bouillon. Oh. oh, yes. Interesting. That was archery. Zero gravity coming up next. All right. All right. Cool. 
Absolutely not balloon fight in any way. Hmm. Wow. What's weird is the turbo doesn't seem to work as good as me pressing the buttons. You know, manually. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it's uh, an anti-turbo button measure. That was zero gravity. Let's try super elf. Alright. Uh, let's try easy. Alright. Oh, okay. Whoa. Very interesting. Oh. This kind of reminds me of that circus game. Hacked version of it. Like starting on another level or something. Okay. Let's see what this next level is, just real quick. Oh, okay, yeah. We get that. That was Super Elf. Let's try Baseball. Curious to see what this game's about. Wonder what it is about. Hmm. Uh, oh, Baseball. All right. And it looks very dark on my uh, TV. Okay. I guess I'm pitching. Yeah, okay. Hey, it's baseball. Alright, throw it back to him, buddy. All right, we get it. It's baseball. <laughs> Future Copter. Let's see what number 16 is. Future Copter. All right, stage one. It seems like this game is on every plug-and-play. Every knockoff plug-and-play. This game's on it. A hacked version, or the original. It's not a bad game, it's pretty cool. But wow. Every one of these? Alright. Alright, diamonds next. Let's try it. diamond. Oh yeah. Now here we go. I, this does not look like it's a, um, a hacked version of Arkanoid, 
looks like it's almost like a, a homemade version built from, from scratch. Or it could be like a hack of an unknown Arkanoid type of game. But I admit, I do like these type of games. So. Breakout style. And there we go. Don't have to beat the whole level. Just gotta um, get that little diamond up front, so that's a little collapsed inside or in the walls there. Just have to get it. Bust the bricks to get the diamond. Unlimited. Looks like I have unlimited amounts of ships. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, it's not going down. Okay, now it is. So I must have like 10 or something like that. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. No, at least they start you out with like a bunch of lives. So. What was Diamond? Matching coming up next. All right, matching. Yeah. matching. Alright, and it went back to the title screen. Cool. Um, I guess the game said you're done here. <laughs> Tennis. Alright. Uh, yeah. I've played this before. Very similar to the, uh, this hack, matter of fact, with Master Higgins on the left there. Try gold digger. Let's let that signal come in. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what this game is about. Ah, it's Arabian. I actually like this in the arcade, the real version. All right, cool.
All right, Mars Man. Let's try Mars Man. All right. All right, uh, let's go for Joe. Oh, okay. This is that one game where you control both. You gotta get them both to meet in the middle at the same time. There we go. There we go. Alright, yeah. Just a hacked version of the, uh, forgot the name of the real game. Alright. Alright, let's try just regular Mars. Alright, let's get that signal. Alright, Mars. Okay. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What a mouth. What a mouth. All right, that was Mars. Try bomb. Yeah, bomb. All right. Oh, what it? Mm. Is this like Minesweeper or something? Because I'll admit I've never got into playing that one. Guessing it is. I'm just right. To be honest with you, I'm just pushing buttons. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I think I lost. All right, that was bomb. All right, let's try Tunny. Try and see what this game is about. There's a rumbling in my tunny. All right. Oh, what's this? Okay. Oh. Oh, what is this game? Oh, I know this game. Ah. I should know this game. And it's like a Capcom game or something. Ah. Oh. This is like one of the early NES games, you can kind of tell. Honey is full. All right. All right. Let's try spar. Oh yeah. Okay. Huh, okay. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh, 
All right, cool. I knocked him out of the pitcher with time to spar. All right. Anyway, that was spar. Let's try strange pop pop. Uh, new game. All right. Speed zero. Oh yeah. Yeah, not 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 a Tetris game at all. Absolutely not. Wink. Ah, I hate that piece. I hate when they give you that piece and it's hard to put it in the right spot. Ah. Wow. Kind of doesn't slow down once the pieces form across a full line. When you get a full line across it. Nah, too quick. Alright. Alright. That was strange, Pop Pop. Let's try soccer. Alright. Um, let's try good old USA. Um, soccer. It's like it's kind of slightly hacked version of it. Oh, wait. Is that my... Alright, which way do I go? Oh, okay. Eh, soccer. Clonk. Clonk. All right. See if that signal will come back. Let's see. We got. I'll, I'll finish up with thirty. We've got clonk, agate, and high jump. So let's go ahead. Actually, let's go ahead and go to 32 if we can. Let's go to Clonk. Well. What the? What? Huh? Alright, is this like an Adventure Island type of game? Is this a hack of Adventure Island? Ah. I Clonk it. B button runs fast, or the uh, down arrow button, and the right arrow button, which is the purple button, jumps. So the red goes fast. Purple jumps. Kind of tough. So here, I need some weapons or so. There we go. I think this is like Adventure Island or something. Yeah. Oh, well. Ah. Interesting game there. All right, egg it. Try that game. What? Come on. Hmm. This will be a good game to do a, a spotlight on. Egg it. 
Alright, amazing game. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, egg it. Yeah. All right, cool. <sighs> Let's try a high jump. Let's see what that game's about. All right, loading. Oh, okay, cool. Remember this game. Ah. Oh. All right, cool. Got it. Good job. All right, nice. Nice. Qualified there. Uh, let's exit. All right, let's try long jump, which is kind of the same thing. Yeah, we played this before as well. There you go. Nice. Boom. Oh, not as good, but not bad. All right. All right, we will finish up today's game with, let's see here, triple jump. Let's see if we can get the triple jump in real quick. All right. Hmm. It's always tough to, for me to master this. Nah. Try it one more time. Nah, not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, so we did 32 games in this plug and play. The versus max, max play. Uh, don't know who makes it, but it's uh, QC passed. So uh, let's see. Next up will be shot put, discus put, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which will probably be like those last three games I just played. So we will pick up on part two with number 33. We'll go go through all these games. <clears throat> right now, it just seems like they're uh, hack heavy NES games with a few homemade ones thrown in there. So, you know, kind of what I've played before on these. So, you've seen my video, so you know the drill. But uh, thanks again for joining me, and I will see you for part two of this uh, maximum play. So, take care, everybody, and I will see you in part two with number 33, and we will keep going. Take care, everybody.